Okay, so let's talk about the Festo Homing Library. So on the website for TwinCat, there is a library. Uh, that's right here, Function Blocks, Beckoff, TwinCat, version 3.1.20. And it's the function block to use inside the Beckoff controller, TwinCat software, in order to execute the motion for I mean, the, to execute the homing function that you have programmed inside the drive. So you go to your homing mode here. So whatever you've programmed here is what will execute when you execute the what is in the library there. So that's what we're talking about. And we have the, the documentation. Um, I've, I've modified, added some things to my own thing, but there's a Festo homing library document right here within the uh, the download the zip file okay and it goes through and it talks about what to do what not to do so on and so forth okay configuration and it covers can open and either cat all right so there's that and there's the library files themselves and I'm using twinket 3 I'm using this library right here and I'm using this right here. Well, I downloaded the one from the uh, for the drive, so that's that. Now, I've got two projects. So, like I said, there is a sample project within the library. So, example, this right here. So I unzip the example, and the example is. Uh, this right here, and the example at the drive. Let me just resize this a little bit here. Okay, and I'll resize the other one in a second here. When you open up the project that is the example from the library itself, it has all of this code here. And uh, as the project, uh, the difference is that it had uh, a couple other programs here that, that could be used for different things. I am only using this on the CMMP, so therefore I've stripped out the other stuff so that it's isolated this right here. So I took this and I want to make it work with my thing. So I I, I only have a, uh, a local PLC on my laptop here. So I just hit OK. Linked to there. I went into my real time, read from my target. I have eight, eight processors here. And then I uh, went down to my device, went to my adapter, searched for the proper adapter, selected it, hit OK. And then scanned it and it said because i have the the drive hooked up to it of course it said hey you have identical configuration okay now one thing i'd like to point out is that i have modified the documentation so that i can have my own thing here so this is my own and i've added some bookmarks to my own because they didn't have any bookmarks in the code and I've given you that. So maybe that'll help a little bit better, but basically there's bookmarks. And uh, throughout the code, it talks about this two times. It says you must connect the PDO 6060 for Ethercat devices manually to the modes of operation, you know. And if I just go back and scroll down, Again, it talks about it here. So what I did was inside of my PDF, I added this right here. So this is what it means by linking the modes of operation manually to the drive. So this is I've given you two perspectives here, one from the top view here and then one from the bottom view. Uh, I think that's what you're experiencing because you need that modes of operation uh, in order to send the 
PEDO, the SDO, sorry, in order to send the, in order to execute the SDO, which changes the mode of operation during the process of the function block actions. Okay, so if I execute the code in this here, so if I come into here, you'll see that this right here, modes of operation, is linked to modes of operation in the drive. Okay, and I didn't have to change that, it was already linked and so on and so forth. So I went into the code and when I execute it, it just executes no problem. Perhaps when you link some stuff, you might have some broken links here that you have to relink. Okay, so that's that code. Uh, from a perspective to help customers, I am going to close this now. And I basically went, you know, and I changed, I created my own project from scratch. And I, you know, scanned the network, got the drive, so on and so forth. And I basically downloaded this, included in the project. And according to this right here, linked all the tags right here. So if I was to go through that step by step, that's what it is. So the IP data record, for example, should be linked to out data one, which it is. And you go through them all. And then finally, just as I said before, the uh, last thing to do is this right here. So the mode of operation linked to mode of operation. Okay, so this mode of operation linked down to mode of operation. So you're linking it from here down to the drive to, where is it here? This right here, mode of operation, see? And uh, by doing that, you know, <laughs> that mode of operation is now a variable that's linked to the outside world, okay? In reading the manual, uh, there was a couple of things I wanted to mention, just in case you run into further issues. Uh, it talks about changing the, the values, okay? So, you may encounter the fact that the default value of set position limit monitoring is off. And when you have that, you have a very high value, like a, 2 billion and to minus 2 billion. Uh, the idea here is that your project, uh, which right now minus 3 to 97 in my project is, is the, uh, it's the software limits. <clears throat> they have to match this. There's my, z well, zero, I put, I put zero to 97, but it's actually minus, minus three, but whatever. So 97, it'll never hit there. And uh, anything else I changed? There's nothing else in this one. If I go to the encoder parameters, expand all. Um, that 0001 has to match. The factor group here, minus four what I did and what else here these are inherently brought in let me just go into config mode here uh, yeah sure whatever no so usually it uh, there's that Uh, this one right here has to be external. So basically match your limits, follow the directions, and you should be good to go. And now, like I said, the last thing to do here is to link this, which I've done already. 
And I did my code in CFC instead of uh, structure text just for better visualization here. And we'll go online in a second here. And I'm just converting some stuff here. So I'm just going to run it. And I also did a visualization. Where did I do that here? Yeah. So just to get to point A to point B. So I'm going to activate the configuration. <coughs> In the run mode. <clears throat> We're now running. Now I'm going to dump this code in. And here we are. So, first thing to do, put it into start, start PLC. And I just have a little multiplier here to get it to the actual position that's coming back from the unit here going into scaled value so I could match it to the PLC in the drive and the MC power here I need to enable enable positive and negative to get drive enabled so that's these bits right here and is the drive enabled now yeah, drives enabled there's my 50 millimeters is my position and I'm executing a home and it's going towards home and at homes and then it gives me the done. The done is the right there, the true. And now that that's done, I can execute a move. When I execute that move, it's going to execute this uh, 50 millimeter move here. So it just moved, went to 50 millimeters here, and we're done. Okay, so that's how the Festo home library works.